Oh, why is it so cold in here? Is the furnace on? Why did we forget to turn the furnace on last night? Oh, how freaking cold is it in here? So, the other morning we woke up, freezing cold. I don't know if you saw the video, <clears throat> freezing cold. Well, furnaces stopped working. So now that the weather's a little bit nicer, I'm gonna troubleshoot, figure out what's going on. Luckily we had space heaters to keep us warm, so, but I'm gonna figure out what's going on with the furnace and hopefully get the part and get it fixed. But I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I did. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing 12 volts coming into my furnace right here. So on the red lead, on the yellow lead, which is positive and negative, I'm getting ready to turn the furnace on to show that I have that working. Turn that up because it's already warm in there. Got a time delay I got to work through. There you go, 12 volts. Different approach because those aren't working like I want them to but I'm hearing it click on I can hear the really kick clicking on so I know I'm getting voltage to my system which should be giving me no, nothing there you know when you think it's just gonna be a quick five minute fix it's never just a quick five minute fix. So there I got 12 volts to my cell switch. There's, there's my 12 volts, right? So I know I'm getting 12 volts into his ground, 12 volts, I got nothing here, All right? If I close my cell switch, I got 12 volts, but my fan's not turning on. So that's my problem right now is I'm not getting voltage across on that. My problem is the way they wired this furnace, I can't pull my board out without pulling my whole furnace out. And that's what I'm gonna have to do next is go through the process of pulling out the furnace because it's never simple. Don't light a match for paint is disconnected. <laughs> see if I can if it'll run outside and I'll test my leads follow the flu all right so red is positive yellow is negative the two blue wires are basically the thermostat so all I'm doing is turning it on voltage on my meter right now as soon as I close this circuit here it's telling it to turn on that tells me I have a loose wire someplace I need to track that down all right so I now have the needle nose into the board here. All right. 
click that. Button. Some reason I'm losing four volts as soon as it turns on so I had issues with the motor so I'm going ahead and go and replace the motor at this point now um, the other thing I noticed is my ground connection is kind of the rivet they use is very loose so I'm gonna put a screw into the little grounding block to see if that holds it better so we'll see how that goes but so next I need to get the furnace back up here get the grounding lock block put in and then I'll put the furnace motor back on all right well after all that troubleshooting and pulling the whole furnace out and everything, come to find out it was just a loose ground wire. But I guess I needed to pull it out so I could find that loose ground wire because the ground wires are tucked up underneath. There's no way you're gonna get to them without pulling it all the way out. But here, I'll, I'll fire it up and you can hear it run. Fan turning on, purging all the old gas out. Tick, 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 tick. Boom! And we have hot air. Woo. It's really hot. All right, all done. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking our channel. Don't forget to click that bell to be notified when we release another crazy video.